Lately, word's been getting around that an early build of The Sims 5, designed for both PC and Android devices, leaked online. From what we've heard, this version comes equipped with de novo anti-piracy protection, which totally fits with Electronic Arts' recent moves to guard their PC games against unauthorized sharing. What's really grabbing folks' attention is that this Sims edition was developed using the Unreal Engine, stepping away from EA and Maxis's usual go-to, Frostbite. This shift from Frostbite to Unreal Engine has been the subject of rumors since since back in 2021, based on job listings posted by the devs. But the big question that remains is which version of Unreal Engine we're talking about here. Is it the fourth or have they moved up to the fifth? Even though we're still a ways off from the official release of The Sims 5, and there's a lot more we're waiting to discover about what it'll be called and what surprises it has in store, one thing's for sure. The folks over at Maxis are gonna have to really hustle. They'll need to make their mark in the bustling life simulation genre, especially with several big ticket projects projects expected to drop in the next couple of years that could give them a run for their money. But you can bet EA won't be turning a blind eye to market trends and what their competitors are up to. It's likely that the next installment of The Sims will feature functions and characteristics similar to those seen in other games, along with a potential major boost in graphics, especially if the game truly leverages Unreal Engine 5. This could be a game changer for the franchise, underlining EA and Maxis's commitment to innovation and enhancing the player experience. Moreover, Further details gleaned from job listings suggest that The Sims 5 could adopt a free-to-play model, marking a significant departure from the traditional full version sales. This strategy could draw in even more players by giving them a chance to try out the game before deciding to purchase additional content. The official confirmation from Maxis and EA that The Sims 5 will go free-to-play is a major shift in strategy for one of the most cherished life simulation series. By ditching any sort of subscription model, the developers are opting for a more inclusive approach, letting a wider audience get a taste of the core game without any upfront costs. This move mirrors the gaming industry's growing trend toward freemium models, where the base game is free and the revenue is made from selling extra content. The announcement that revenue will come solely from content packs emphasizes the team's commitment to ensuring that essential gameplay features remain accessible to all players. The mention of dynamic weather as part of the base game highlights the developer's dedication to delivering rich and immersive gameplay experiences from the outset. This approach ensures that while the base game is free, the depth and variety of the gameplay can be expanded through the purchase of DLCs, furniture packs, clothing, and other add-ons. This strategy not only makes the game accessible to a broader audience, but also enables players to tailor their experience to match their personal preferences and budget. It's a delicate balancing act of making the game as available as possible while still fostering a sustainable revenue model through the sale of additional optional content. Interestingly, it's also been hinted that the game's release on mobile platforms might precede its launch on gaming consoles. This approach could leverage the growing popularity of mobile gaming, offering access to the game to a wide range of players, regardless of their platform preferences. These shifts in development and distribution strategies indicate EA and Maxis's desire to align with contemporary gaming industry trends and the evolving needs of players.